What is up? I'm Moana Turtle and we have another Cosmic Eclipse opening today. Uh, we are going to be doing 15 more packs and a stack of these individual packs. Um, kind of like not from a booster box. So they are from a booster box, but we didn't buy a whole booster box. So the pull rates could be anything. And yesterday we pulled this beauty on stream. So we do stream on YouTube and Twitch links down below. Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday evenings. If you've never checked it out, right now we're playing a lot of PTCGO. And we're starting to do openings, so that's where that secret rare came from. Really happy to have pulled that. So today, what are we going for? We brought Squirtle because even though we already pulled one of the best Blastoise Piplups, we want that secret rare one. The card looks amazing. All right, let's get into these packs. 15 packs, let's see what we can do. And again, these are kind of like from a open booster box. So yesterday I wasn't sure about the pulls, but then on stream we pulled another secret rare. So I mean, I feel like it's super up and down, but the important thing is like anything could happen with this opening. All right, let's go. Clefairy doll, or Lily's Pokey doll. Dragonium Z, Araquanid, Nosepass, Litleo, Flabebe, Sveal, a Natu, Ooh, reverse red and blue. That's actually pretty cool. This card's actually insane. Search your deck for a Pokemon GX that evolves from one of your Pokemon and put it into that into play. Evolve it, shuffle your deck, and then you can discard two cards and basically you can ramp it up with two basic energies from your deck. So it's kind of like uh, pay three to evolve and attach two energies. So that's pretty good. And then we have Dragalge. Oh man, look at this card. This is insane. So, if your own opponent's active Pokemon is poison, put 10 damage counters instead of 1. So the thing is, this actually doesn't do poisons. You need something else to do poison, but then this basically ramps up that poison to 10, which is pretty cool. So if you guys haven't checked out yesterday's video, we opened up a total of 32 Cosmic Eclipse packs. Uh, so definitely check out that video if you have not already. So uh, pretty crazy times doing all these openings and so many packs 32 that's took quite a while and really enjoying this set so far uh, excited for Halloween which is when you can start opening the packs on PTCGO so we're, again we stream Monday Tuesday Thursday so that includes Halloween and we're gonna start trying to figure out what decks we can make with all these new Cosmic Eclipse cards hopefully get some good pulls and all right for our next pack we have a Sun Kern and then oh a Rainbow Flygon oh my gosh this is our third Flygon hey maybe this card is actually really good I'm not seeing it but I guess you could use red and blue to help this guy along and the Desert Hurricane. Uh, there's almost always going to be a stadium and this will discard it. So I guess this is a way that you can get rid of that, um, whatever that one is that, that you can't like replace it. It's difficult to replace it. This guy will remove it and you can place it on your own. But basically this guy's slamming for 240 for 3 energy which is pretty good. And then Sonic Edge 220 that basically is not affected. Um, this, this infected. This attack damage isn't affected by effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. I feel like that's kind of a weak GX attack. Like, what is that relevant? You know, like Full Metal Wall and stuff like that, Frying Pan? That's not. We don't need to worry about that. So I feel like if it had a cooler GX attack, or maybe I'm missing something, but hey, we got a Hyper Rare card. This is a great opening. So even though I'm still a little skeptical of where I got these booster boxes, ultimately we got like three... Um, one full art supporter, one alternate art tag team, and the full art supporter. So that's already pretty good considering. So maybe I was wrong. Maybe everything's all cool with this LGS that I bought, bought these from. And maybe I need to go pick up more. <laughs> Alright, Crow Brawler, Carvana, Chincho, Azuril. Ooh, Exadrill. Okay, we got another character rare. We're doing really good on the character rares. Let's see, I think we still need the N1. Um, oh, Lieutenant Surge, maybe another one. But let's see, Exadrill, 11th hour tackle. If there are three or fewer cards in your deck, this attack does 150 damage. There's a way to make this work. So if you just have, um, 
kind of like a Ranguru or something. Basically make it so you always have, a, you know, you keep your deck really low and then you, for only one energy, this thing's doing 180, that's insane. And then Drill Bazooka, discard the top four cards of your deck to help you get there, but that doesn't sound like the way to do that. Galele, Ice Fang, Flip, uh, Flip a Coin, if heads your opponent's Pokemon is paralyzed, and discard a card, energy card. Ooh, that's pretty cool. And then Frosty Typhoon. Can't use Frosty Typhoon in your next turn. Hmm, let's see. Galalee with Will. Is that worth it? Paralyze? Take away energies? I doubt it, but that's not bad. Exadrill. Whenever these cards, for whatever reason, it's very easy to tell when they're off-centered. I'm not sure why. I think just the color. Like, there's a huge amount of contrast. So this guy is pretty off-centered. I love these character rares. Compared to, like, the Evolutions... Secret rares, these ones are so much better. I'm not sure what the pull rates are, they don't seem super rare. But definitely a big fan of this, and I hope they continue to do it. Kind of plays well with the Pokemon Masters too. So if you guys do enjoy this video, and uh, do me a favor, hit that like button. And if you're not already sub, definitely sub as well. Especially if you enjoy Cosmic Eclipse. This is just packs that we managed to pick up at the LGS. And then coming probably on Monday, our kind of like our pre-orders will start coming in. So we have tons of openings to come. Tag Call. This card is insane. Anytime uh, if you're running tag teams, this would just be the way to tutor them up. And it's a two for one. So that's amazing. Dark Tricks. Lily's Full Force. This card sounds terrible. What is this card for? Teddy Ursa. Nosepass, Litleo, Flabebe, Sveal. Oh my gosh, we are killing it with these. Mimikyu, that's another one we need. Um, although I wish it was the other Mimikyu, the rare one. And then we got Drampa. We're not worried about him. Uh, look at, you can tell. Look, actually, it's off center in the same exact way. This side is so thin. But yeah, this is the impression. You can discard a supporter and use it for your attack. And then, what was that other one? Place three damage counters any way you want. Two damage counter. Choose two of your opponent's Pokemon, put two damage counters on each. I really like this card. And, oh, definitely if we're going to use it, definitely want to play the character rare variety. That looks great. Although, she looks creepy. <laughs> Ace Rolla. Alright, this is a great opening. We got one hyper rare two character rare so far this is going very well and let me know what your plans are for cosmic eclipse in a comment down below um are you skipping it you know maybe because wallet fatigue from hidden fates or maybe you know this set just doesn't interest you but if you are going to get into it like let me know what your plans are how many or what how are you going to go about doing it Caitlyn Cynthia, I'm very curious about the full art variety of this. This card sounds really good. Uh, basically, you can pull another supporter out of your discard pile, and then you can draw three cards if you discard a card. So very worthwhile. Roxy's another cool one. I like the idea of discarding Giratinas to that. Herdier, Stuffle, Rowlet, Phantom, Magnemite, Lily Pup, and Probo Pass. What does this guy do? Flip a coin, Paralyzed. Flip three coins, attack does 40 more damage for each heads. Hmm, not terrible. Oh, nice! Alright, <laughs> this is going great. I really like this card. Mega Lopany and Jigglypuff. Interesting pairing. 240 HP is not a lot, but Jumping Balloon. This attack does 60 more damage for each of your opponent's Poke Pokemon GX. So, I'm looking at... The Mewtwo's, Mewtwo Mews. This thing sounds really strong against that. Sure, you know, you can get like, um, you know, 240 HP is not a great number to be at, but I feel you can do deal a lot of damage with Jumping Balloon. And then let's see, Puffy smashes your opponent's Pokemon is now asleep. If this has an extra four energy attached to it, uh, attack does 200 to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Hmm, okay, cool. To be honest, I like that Jumping Balloon attack. Well, I'm not sure what it means. Jumping balloon. How's that? I'm not sure what that attack is. Is that just like Jigglypuff thing? Oh, because Jigglypuff is like a balloon and a bunny is jumping. Sure. 
but this opening is going super well even though last time we opened so many more pack chaotic well that was the card uh that maybe exadrill or no uh flygon can get rid of <coughs> tropius what does tropius do search your deck for a leaf energy and attach it to one of your pokemon shuffle your deck oh not bad and then the other one is 50 heal 30. Togedemaru, Sneasel, Nat2, Trap Pinch. Yeah, so I feel like all the uh, yesterday we didn't do that great as far as ratios go, but today is going much better for sure. And we have much less, significantly less packs. Yeah, again, like yesterday it was a huge opening. It's been a while since we opened over 30 packs in a single video. Largely because we've been doing Hidden Fates though. Alright, Flareon, 30 more damage for Evolutions, Will, Wilmer, this <laughs> really derpy art, Ponyard, Togemaru, Trap Inch, Flabebe, Sneasel, playing in the snow, and then another Drampa. And uh, also let me know in a comment down below what is the card you're looking for the most, whether it is for the competitive side or collectability. Yesterday's video we pulled a awesome card that I feel like is one of the ones that will be sought after as far as collectability goes. Type Null, Island Challenge Amulet, Erica, Dewpiter, Apom, Onyx, Tepig, Snowrunt, Chaos Swell Reverse. It's kind of cool. I'm not sure if there's a secret rare version of that, but I'm curious what it would look like. And then we have Alolan Ninetales. Is this the oh the Rubbish Blizzard? That's a funny name. Um, yeah. How many tools can you possibly get in your discard? Not sure about that one. All right, let's see. We're about halfway done. We got seven packs remaining, and we already got a handful of hits. So this is is a successful opening. Well, let's keep these uh, big hits coming. Fairy Energy, Curlia. I think this just has a Gallade. There's no Gardevoir. Roller Skater, very nice card. Clefairy, Basimian, Jangmo'o, Rowlet, Scrup. What's this one? Your opponent's. Oh, okay. This is where the poison comes from, and then the Dragalgi just like enhances it, I guess. Mimikyu, and then Whimsicott. Lost March, no Lost March card. Put three, put a card from your hand into the Lost Zone if you do draw three cards. But I'm super excited to figure out all the or find out what the, all the new decks are. I feel like I'm not that great at brewing stuff myself. Uh, I feel like I still need to learn from the brew masters before I can come up with my own recipes. So to be honest, I don't have many great ideas at the moment. But I'm eager to do some research and fi try to figure, make some stuff work. We got a Rotom, Erica, Phantom, Grimer, Magnemite, Eevee. Eh, kind of underwhelming as far as Eevees go. Flabebe, Rowlet. Kind of, sometimes I like these arts, sometimes I don't. And then a Swoobat. This Pokemon is now confused. Your, your opponent chooses one of their po Oh, I do like that attack. Not sure if it's good enough, but it's just interesting. That's a lot of damage for one energy. And but it's like, hey, you tell me. I don't know, maybe then you can use Esper to finish them off without them realizing it. Cause like, hey, I can just put this on a tag team and it's 90, so a lot of tag teams are 270. It's like, oh by the way. That guy's now knocked out next turn, or I think there's a Nihilego that can just move damage around after the fact, or for an attack. Togemaru, Onyx, Golet is our reverse, and then Cradilly. Your opponent's Pokemon that are affected by special conditions can't reach- Whoa, I like this sound. Oh man, this is- <laughs> You put down Cradilly. Oh, fortunately it's a stage two. But then we can bring the boys. Bring in the mucks and use their special goo poison. Or maybe Dragalgi's poison. But Cradilly's like the um it's kinda like Dust Island, or actually it's very different than Dust Island, but very, you know, basically helps those kind of status condition kind of things. So Cradilly. 
Doubt we can make it work, but that's one I want to try to make the mucks happen. Mallow and Lana. Switch your Pokemon, discard 2, heal 120. I mean, it's not bad if you compare it to a Switch plus mixed herbs. But I don't like it. Timple. I feel like supporters just have to help you cycle your deck. Ascension, search your deck for a card that evolves from it. Okay. Oh, wait, we're not done yet. Bye, Brava. What does this do? Whenever your opponent plays a supporter card from your hand, their hand, prevent all effects. Oh, that dentist. Pokemon. Alright, that's nothing. Alright, three packs. We got off to an insane start, hitting like back to back to back. And then this will. We have to expect this to happen after a start like that. So things seem to have cooled off. We're gonna, out of three packs left, including this one in my hand, let's just get one more hit. Come on, I want that Blastoise. Jolteon, this is probably my favorite evolution buff. Pangoro, Rapidash, Rufflet, Oddish, Rolts, Dandygas, Sveal, a Snow Runt, and Crabominable. This Pokemon takes 30 less damage, Freezing Punch, 80. If this has Water Energy attack to it, does 80 more damage. Hmm. It's not terrible, it's not terrible. Sounds like a pretty uh, easy thing to pull off. All right, two more hits. Let's get one more card. Water Energy. Absol, what does this do? Discard energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon. Oh, you know, like all these like really annoying like control decks. Maybe this guy's good. Just keep sapping away their energy, if, you know, and hammer or something just to stay ahead and keep them from doing their thing. Ah, oh, those are annoying. Scrope, Pikachu, Teddy Ursa, Litleo, and oh, there he is. This card is so insane. This is one I really want the secret rare of. Like we pulled the Lily one. I was like, ah, oh, that's not the one I want. Man, this guy is a monster. Uh, I mean, who knows? Because there's there's so many possibilities with this set, but this just sounds insane. Discard up to three in any combination of fire and lightning energy from your bench Pokemon. Very specific, bench Pokemon only. This attack does 90 damage for each card discarded in that way. So strong. Uh, shout outs to Get Wrecked on, on Twitch and we're probably going to face him on the 31st and he's like, don't worry, I, I have some decks coming that I want to show you. It's like, it's going to be a very scary Halloween or something. That was pretty funny and I am very scared. <laughs> he is a uh, much more experienced player than I am. However, I look forward to seeing what kind of stuff he has in store and I'll probably try to copy some of it. So shout outs to you. All right, for our last pack. Man, we got a lot of hits. So I am, my faith in our LGS that I picked these up from has been restored for sure. And for our last pack, we have a Drampa. This thing is a little too close. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe all down below. Here we go. Oh my gosh, this is so good. This was insane opening. We got the alternate art. Look at that. You know, I feel like the texturization is still pretty low compared to what it was like back in like Burning, uh, burning Shadows. But that shine is amazing. Man, we pulled another... GX character rare. Gladian, this is not like the best one, but I really like as far as the art goes. This one is not the best, but I really like this card. I think it's really strong. So, very solid pickup right there. And my gosh, what an insane opening! We did amazing. Alright, this video is already like 20 minutes long. That took way longer than I thought it would. So we're gonna wrap it up there. That was insane. Such crazy pulls and what an insane ratio, 15 packs. But uh, as always guys, thanks for watching. Again, uh, we'll be streaming tonight starting 7 p.m. EST. So be sure to stop by uh, Twitch link down below, YouTube, or actually this is the YouTube link. And um, yeah, be sure to catch, by, catch us. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm Wanna Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time.